Hey guys, I'm Melanie and welcome back to my channel. Today, I didn't know what I should talk about with you guys. Yeah, but I chose a topic that I'm going to talk about with you guys. Don't mind me if I start to cry right in front of you guys. I hope that I won't cry. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh yeah, I moved from where I shot my videos cuz I have a big massage chair, so... Yeah, I'll show you guys on the end of the video. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing my big hoop earrings today. You guys never saw me wearing them before. Here you go, me wearing my big hoop earrings. <laughs> You're welcome. So, let's get started. I'm going to talk with you about the time I was bullied because this is very important and serious and... I know there's some people who are bullying helplessness kids that they didn't do nothing them right now. And I saw this video of this teenager girl bullying other teenager girl. I'm not surprised that nobody helped her. I was like, wow, is that our world had become now? We should be more helpful and stop taking videos of someone who is getting bullied. I'm serious. I know how it feels to get bullied, so I want you to think about getting bullied, and tell me how would you feel? Hashtag stop the bullying. This is my story of the time I was bullied, letting you know, this is a long story. So, here we go, I was born with cerebral palsy as you guys know. First, I went to this school, it called Blythedale. I was a very happy kid, when I laughed everybody knew it was coming. That was how I was when I was 12 years old. The school principal told me and my mom that I had to go to another school and she said if Melanie doesn't like it we will bring her back. So, we look at schools. We looked at two or three schools. There was one school that we liked cuz it was closer to my house and I need someone to feed me so, yeah? I had to wait until everything was ready for me to go to the other school. I didn't know why I needed to wait to go to the other school, but I heard that they were setting everything up for me to go to Woodlands, my new school. It is a normal school. Just telling you guys that everything changed for me. On Monday, February 15th, 2010, I went to my new school with my teacher that who was in my old school when I got there. I was so excited and nervous at the same time. I couldn't believe that I was in a normal school, but I didn't know that school would change my life. Although, my teenage years was all good. I had all of my friends with me and everything was fine when the graduation came. I was a little bit sad because all of my friends was leaving and I was left back because of my disability. I was a little bit sad that they was leaving, but that lucky for me. I'm a very friendly person, I have a friend. We were like brother and sister. We was in the same classes together and when it was lunchtime we would meet up at the lunchroom and talk about stupid shit. There was a guy who was friends with my friend who I didn't know of at all. So, my friend's friend lived close to me, right? I didn't know that they that bitch lived close to me, to be honest. So, one day, I choose to go out for a ride by myself and I was on my phone. Mm. And yes, I had a phone. I know that I can't talk but I had a phone. Anyways, I was on my phone talking with someone. I went to my old house. Or it isn't far walk from my house that I'm living in today to my old house. I was walking minding my own business and talking on the phone. I think it was one week later that I told my dad about what happened when I was walking around by myself. My dad asked me why didn't I tell him what happened to me. I basically said that I didn't tell him cause I was scared to tell you. He said just tell us Melanie, what if we those kids do something bad to you? I said, oh okay dad. I'll tell you guys if something else happens. So, we left it at that, but that wasn't it, with kids bullying me, oh no no no. We're just getting started. So, there was a few girls who was bullying me too, I saw that we picked the wrong school for me, cause after all of my friends left. That was when the bullying started, not kidding you guys. That same kid kept on bullying me also, there was these girls who was bullying me too, I was like oh my god. I was bullied inside and outside of school letting you guys know. Anyways, one day, I choose to go out again. I went to my old house, when I was at that bitch block, I had to fix myself. 
I had to lift the chair back to be able to fix myself. So while I was lifting the chair back, I saw that bitch making fun of how I lift my chair back. In my mind, I was saying, I hope that you have a fucking kid like me or worse than me, son of a bitch. I'm sorry for my language, but it gets me so pissed how people are making fun of someone who is in a wheelchair. Anyways. When I was done fixing myself, I kept going to my old house at the same time. I was glad I got away from him. There was a few times that happened to me. One of those times, I told my little brother to come with me and take your bat too. When we went to our old house, there was nobody that I saw before. You guys know what I mean. When we was coming from our old house, there he was again. He talked to my little brother, very friendly. He asked, you live there, close to my house, right? My little brother said yes. He kept on asking stupid questions. At this point, I didn't like him at all, so they were done talking. And we headed back to our house. But it didn't stop there. In school, I saw my friend coming with that bitch. I talked with my friend and when we was done talking, I made a bad look at him and my friend saw me and he started laughing. He knew me so well also. I think that he knew that I hate his friend, I think. Anyways, something happened in school with him cuz I never saw him at school again. I thought that I was free of bullying. I thought wrong. That bitch's friend was still there in school with me. I was feeling kind of sad cause all of my friends left and I missed them. But I couldn't do anything about it, this time it went too far. One day my friend, his another friend and I went to the lunch to pick out his food so, he went to pick his food with his friend and, I went into the lunch room to wait for them, right? Right, so, while I was turning around to put my chair in guess the wall I saw that bitch's friend saying something to another guy's ear and look at me and laughing. This point, I had enough. So, I pushed him and I ran out of the lunch room. While I was running out of lunch room I was crying, literally I was crying. I ran out of the lunch room, I put my chair and guessed the wall again, I didn't stop crying, I didn't know if my friends saw me crying, I only knew how mad I was at them. I ran through the first door to go to my classroom, and there was a hall monitor, she saw me crying, she asked what happened? Melanie, she knew that something was up with me. I never cried like that before, she asked, was the kids bothering you L Melanie? I said yes, so, we went back to the lunchroom and the kids ran away from getting caught. I didn't tell you guys this earth earlier, but, while I was going through this, sometimes I cried in the bus and I got home. Anyways, when everything had calmed down a little bit, I was talking with my friend. I told him that I was so mad at them, I just wanted to go. The hall monitor, the school's principal and my teacher went to figure out what actually happened. Lunch time was over and when I got back from lunch, <laughs> my teacher asked me if I wanted to talk with them. I said no, cause I knew what was going to happen. When I got home, I knew that I wasn't going to school the next day. I haven't gone to school for three months, you guys. That was how depressed I was, every night I was crying, literally crying, every fucking night, asking God why me. You know, I didn't know why this happened to me. One day, my dad took me and my little brother somewhere, and, we was coming back, I think it was from the movies, I'm not sure, anyways. We was coming from somewhere and my little brother I was hungry. So, my little brother asked my dad if we could have something to eat. He asked us, what do you guys want? We said Taco Bell. He asked me what do you want from Taco Bell Melanie. I wrote what I want in the air. That is how my dad and I communicate. I write a letter in the air and he guessed which letter that I'm writing. Anyways, he didn't understand me what I was saying to him. I started to cry but, it wasn't of what I was saying that he didn't understand me, it was of I was depressed, I was crying. When we got home, I was going straight to my room to knock myself in. I didn't want to talk to anyone, so I put my chair behind the door to keep someone coming in my room. I wanted to be alone. My mom told me open the door and I wouldn't open it. 
My parents told my little brother to open my window and get inside and move me, so he did. I was so depressed. I was so depressed that I wasn't in a great mindset. This was the most of thought about killing myself, hear how it goes. I was in the living room watching TV, and I was alone, my mom was working. My dad was in his room, my little brother upstairs in his room, I went to the kitchen for whatever reason, I was in the kitchen, when I heard my little brother coming down and coming to the kitchen. There was a knife right front of me, I started to cry and my little brother ran to my dad's room and told him what he thought what I was doing. I went to my dad's room and asked me if I was depressed in Spanish and I was crying and said yes I was. He gave me something to eat and gave me a nice bath and I went to bed. After that happened to me, I graduated from high school, but not with all of my friends that I wanted to graduate with. But I graduated, that was the most important part for me. I learned not to listen to what people say about me, if they are talking about me or looking at me weird or laughing at me, it's only cause they are jealous of me. So, there was my story when I got bullied, if you guys like this video then give it a like and comment down below. If you guys kind of have the same story or you guys saw someone was getting bullied before, subscribe for more videos. Have a good day, I love you guys later.